Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of, of From the Darkness. <clears throat> As you see, I'm starting over again because I died in my last episode. Oh, let him die. Not useful. Some berries. Berries are, are pretty much the best you can get. Especially if you get find snow in the world. I will need to find around ten wood. So I can get a shovel. So I can uh, get flint. That's the last episode. I got some wheat or barn over there so, so I can get red. And the temperature in this biome is pretty good. So I don't need to worry about that. Last time I froze to death. So hopefully I will die from a different reason this time. And hopefully not in this episode. It would be kind of boring to die in this episode. Two times in a row. When I played single player before, I found wolves and tamed them. But after I have tamed one of them, or two of them, and mated them because I got some extra bones from meat or whatever, I got attacked by skeletons. So I died. After I got wolves. That made me a bit sad, because I like getting wolves. Extra minions that can, that can fight for you. And still, I don't know if you actually need to make this, but... I do it because I did it the first time. I probably don't need to. Okay. Some nice trees. And this is not biomes of planted, it's highlands. It got much nicer biomes, so I'm glad that they switched out. out. And this seems not really pro. And you should left click on the DC find in the wild because then they can grow back because when you punch them you won't get any seeds for some reason. Pumpkins and blueberries and some other kind of berry. That's nice. Sheep. Is this some kind of jungle? That's a dungeon of some sort. I want to go in there. And I found gravel. And some weird thing. I will need... Oh, I found one gravel. That doesn't help me a lot. Let's see if I can find something more. More gravel. There's a at least a lot of things you can eat that you can find in the world. Um, the f first iron I will get, I will use to make a pot or some other cooking utility. I'm worried that I won't find any gravel in time. And I don't think it's any point to digging down and trying to find it that way. Because I can't break the stone. Well, I can, but it will take years and years and years. Oh, what's this? Kippy! That's interesting. I have never find, found Kiwi before. Oh! Heal 700 of damage dealt to enemies. And 
Okay, I get healed when I kill stuff. That's like the ultimate hardcore thing. It's an easy way to re regenerate health. Or not easy, but it is a way. And I really need to find that goddamn gravel. I think you could use bones as well, but I don't think I'm able to kill a skeleton right now. Any gravel? Yeah. Gravel down there. And I don't have it. Can't get very easily. I don't have any curious. Maybe if I go this way. Yeah, yeah. And that's salt over there. Let's see how much I got. I got five. That's enough to make a pickaxe. So let's make a pickaxe. Because it's the first one you will need. Hopefully this stone is able to become a cobblestone. Hopefully, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's cobblestone ball. And yes, that's a word now. I made it up and it's a word. That sounded just like a creeper. I never done the wrong thing. That sounded just like a creeper. My water bar is down a bit, but I can do this to make some juice out of berries. And the juice I can drink, and I can craft some bread. Let's see if I can use anything else. Use this to make anything else first. Okay, I can I can only use it to make bread. And I think there's a zombie outside. There. Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. It's just a zombie. It can't hurt me here. I hope. Let's at least keep one. Uh, a skeleton. I would like to keep those, so I should make it like. And I only made one juice. Okay, so I got five, that's at least better. And you can level your trees as I mentioned last time. Uh, you can also level your soap. So if I hit enough skeletons, it didn't like me playing in. Large screen. But you can level your skill at ki killing skeletons. So you will deal more damage to them. Or you can level your skill with a pickaxe. Uh oh, he hit me. Yeah, I'm sure. Probably just do like this. Mine it away. I've lost half a heart, or one and a half heart. Yes. And they're killing a wolf! 
There's some parables in this game, so it's hopefully not bad for killing. Yeah, you died, bad wolf. And I think I saw a zombie with a sword there. A sheep there, so... Oh, two. I'm not going to fight two... zombies at once. But we kill me, and I should listen to my own advice and get some snow. At least two blocks. And I'm not going to stay in this biome because then I'm going to die from starvation. And now I got two choices. Keep moving. Oh, a wolf. Are you here? You're a great stone. I'm not going to destroy you. So, I got some wool. I will need some more pieces. I got. I need one more wool, then I can make a bed. I think. Yeah, one more wool. You know, I'm pretty safe. Let's see here. Look. Need to destroy. <sighs> so now I can place the bed and hopefully sleep. Oh, so there's some enemies on top of me. I got two snowballs on. Two snowballs, that's definitely not enough for anything useful. I thought I got one. And I'm going to make some spy outs. That's a creeper. The sugar cane over there is pretty good to get to because I think when you get sugar cane, you can grow some or grow. You can make some special stuff like fruit punch or something like that. It's probably as filling as smoothie, but you can do it with other berries. So sugar cane is definitely a good thing. Now we would need some more... Yeah, I got ton of snow. Probably mine some snow more. So I get more snow for the... When I'm traveling. And that's... A sword wielding... Fighting... Something. So let's walk away from it. It would be nice to find an island or something easily protected. Well, the problem with islands are that they usually are far away from everything else, so they're pretty darn hard to find. Well, is that what I think it is? That on the map? The bright greenish thing. Sand, I should also get. Oh, skeleton! Didn't see you there! Uh, I am playing hardcore. I need to be more careful. I'm not used to needing to be this careful. Oh, these are nice. As you see, they'll fill up like half my water bar at once. 
survey really good. Oh, that's a little island. A very small island. I think it's too small to be used for that I want to use it for. And that's some more blueberries. And that's some kind of berry. And there's smart movement in this mod pack. Raspberry bush. And smart movement makes it sit so you can move upstairs or things like this. But it also gives you some problems sometimes when you're trying to walk up from uh, what should you call it? Yeah, and I was correct. It's bush berries and also blueberries. I should probably make my home here it's pretty flat and things can't spawn in the daytime close to it so what I'm going to do is find a nice area probably here and firstly dig a ravine kind of around it so get protective uh, outer shell So a zombie walks down here and he can't get it up again. So that's my thought of protection. I've never used this tactic before, but it might work. And it will give me some material for building walls. I should throw these books away. I actually don't need them. If I need one, I can look up the recipes on the wiki. So I got a bed of furnace. I'm set up for a pretty nice life. And on the map, I see that that way, there's a dungeon with pretty much a hell lot of good things so instead of living here I might go over there uh, is it the wrong? yeah it's the wrong kind I'm going to live here it was the wrong kind of dungeon I think I will check it out later and maybe move there then if it's a good kind And my thing broke. Okay. So I'm down to half health, but if that's the dungeon, I think it is, I can find potions there to heal me, and that would be nice. And I will also find armor, a bed, some coal, and some weapons, I think. And if I'm brave enough, or stupid enough, I can explore its darker part, parts, and find maybe some good stuff, like potions. When potions is one of the best things you can find in this game because there's very few ways you can regenerate health and potions is one of them so I build walls here too so all things will fall down in my nice Round thing around here. I might dig it deeper. You should also know in this mod pack they have changed the falling amount, they have a damage dealt by falling. So I think you can fall a bit further, but you really need it to survive. 
And I wonder that's that's buffers. And I should eat. I got some bread. I think it heals up. Oh. Bread is a lot better than I remember. I thought it just gave half a thing back in this pack. But I was wrong. Sometimes I like to be wrong. I'm playing hardcore and I won't still have a too high roof. I'm against those. Place that down. My bed. I didn't mean to place it just like that. In the middle of the room. And if I fall down from this side, I will probably lose some health. Losing some health in this mod pack is worse than, worse than dying in others. Just saying. You can only die once. Have some berries. And it's good that these berry bushes are fully grown. We'll probably try to harvest them. I will also need to find flint. That's something I'm missing. Flint. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know how I will be able to go on without flint. So this might really be problematic. <clears throat> but hopefully I will be okay. I got some smoothies. I got the parts I need to make a snow golem. So we can get a lot of smoothies. I got two berry bushes near me. And I think I can just make smoothies out of both those berry bushes. So I'm pretty set for food. The only thing I don't have is materials for tools. But hopefully I will get them in the future and I should absolutely make a chest. I definitely need a chest. And actually, I didn't die this episode, so that's good news. Whew. It's very stressful, is probably the best word for it, playing this mod pack. Because if you die, you die, and you need to think about food, water, and everything like that all the time if you run away from a skeleton in the beginning it might be the end of you so it might be better for you to take that hit and so that's really hard so for your sur survivability it might be better to take a little bit of damage than starving to death later and we also have madness to think about. If you stay underground too long, or get hit by endermans, or witness scary things, or something like that, you can get mad, and will give you nausea, blindness, and some conditions like that. And I don't want that. I think it's oxygen, the top one on the right side. And the sun is going down soon. So when I see the stars, I will go in, or before I see the stars, hopefully, I will go in and sleep in the bed so things don't spawn. I thought I saw something there. And in this mod pack, you can't sleep when you're thirsty or 
starving, I think. You probably still can be hungry. And you can make what's called marks with this uh, map mod. I saw that in one of Diamond's videos. I thought this map was worse than the others because I didn't know how to make mo uh, the waypoints. But now I do, and it's the greatest because with this mod map you can do like this. And I don't know how this works. That's interesting. Now you can zoom out. I uh, don't know how this works yeah, either. How can I explore this area? And this area? That's just weird. Let's see what you While sneaking your. Okay. I'm not looking like I'm invisible. Now yeah, it's invisible, I think. Let's change this back. But I got a house. I survived the night, and I only need three more dirt blocks. But if you like the video, you can like it. If you want to see more videos like this, I would, because this is interesting and stressful for me. Uh, you can subscribe my channel, and if you want to see, have any suggestions on what to do, any tips, and don't trick me, please, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.